year for natural disasters, right? Deadly hurricanes, the latest reminder of the destruction that can strike some of the most vulnerable among us. But as people start to recover and rebuild, some still aren't able to care for their companion animals. And that's just one of the reasons that pets are sent to lost dog and cat rescue. I know, right? The group helps to relocate fosters and uh, adoptables with their forever homes or with the, with the <laughs> with the main goal hopefully being to get everybody reunited with uh, their human parents. Colleen Lurch is a board member and volunteer at the Lost Dog and Cat Rescue Foundation. Good morning, Colleen. Good morning. Thank you. So let's talk about my girl here so we yeah. can let her go and we can talk about the puppies. But um, be, hello. Just one of the examples of yeah. dogs and cats misplaced by these natural disasters. That's right. That's right. Wendy really has an incredible story. She came to Lost Dog and Cat Rescue Foundation just before Hurricane Florence made her way into North Carolina uh -huh. um, in partnership with the Humane Society of the United States. They helped us, um, they helped those shelters in the area in the eye of the storm um, get their animals out of danger. Mm -hmm. So Lost Dog and Cat Rescue Foundation was able to take um, 30 cats and close to 10 dogs from that area and find them great homes up here. Wendy needed a little bit extra TLC because she had some, um, she had some medical needs, but she's getting that care now and she's going to be up for adoption real soon. She is so incredibly Such playful. Lady, yeah. And she actually just went trick or treating. Oh, really? Yeah, one of our great volunteers took her on a dog venture on Wednesday Aww. so that she could go trick or treating and experience what that's like. Okay. Miss Wendy, you is just so lovable. She's vocal. I know. She's, she's vocal. Okay. okay. So, who do you have? Okay. So, these little ones this is Harry oh, and Gary. Yeah. And they also have a really cool story, too. We, um, like I said, we partner with the Humane Society, and they have this great shelter ally project where they network with area shelters that are overwhelmed, and then they bring those animals to um, rescues that aren't as overwhelmed, and we can get them placed. So these guys came from Harris County, Houston, um, and they arrived on Thursday uh, via plane with a bunch of their other uh, puppy, uh, puppy buddies. And they are currently up for adoption. They are, because I know some, um, you do, like, I don't know all those good people who foster yeah. dogs and cats because it would be hard to let them go. Yeah. But the, the overriding hope, right, is that they're reunited with their families. So we actually, at the point in which we come in, we know that there is no way to reunite oh, okay. the animal with the, with the family okay. at that point. And in which case, we just want to get the animal another great home. Got it. So that's what, that's what we do. That's what our mission is. And we depend on our foster network um, to help when we are just overwhelmed with animals. Sure. And also because sometimes puppies like Harry and Gary just need to be in a foster home to really flourish before they're adopted. Look at you doing your cute face. These guys just got um, spayed, and right? Yeah. yeah. So they're, you guys are in all this energy still. So that's right. You need to know, first of all, we want to get it's Harry and Gary. Harry and Gary. And all the animals that are being adopted mm -hmm. through Life Dog and Cat Rescue Foundation are spayed, neutered, and up to date on routine immunization mm -hmm. at the time in which they are they are put up for adoption. So mm -hmm. we really make sure we take care of that for the future family. Okay. All right, so we hope you guys get good home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please let us know how um, we can get folks in touch with you. We'd love to. Our website is the best place to find out how to adopt, volunteer, or donate. We have a lot of different ways for people to interact with our organization. Um, things as easy as just designating us as your charity of choice on Amazon Smile, okay. to even spending an afternoon or an evening with some of the pups in our care. Um, before adopting. All right. Help these guys get good homes. They've been through so much already. Thank you so much, Colleen, for Thank being you. here. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back.